All right, well, hello, YouTube. We are coming to you live from the VAB, our Vehicle Assembly Building. So I wanted to give everybody a quick tour, show you what we've been working on in anticipation of launch day. So, let's go ahead and switch over inside so obviously very important this is our nourishment station this is where we keep all our food our drinks our snacks we're well stocked with food and goodies keep us all nourished and refreshed over here this is our supply table all of our materials for the weather balloon inside here okay and this beauty right here is our helium tank which we just got this morning 300 cubic feet of helium, which is more than enough helium than we will need. This tank weighs about 144 pounds empty. It was a beast to move this morning, but we're glad to have it. All right, and over here is Mr. Jake Vaught. He is hard at work getting final designs ready for our payload. He's right. working on, you wanna tell us a little bit about Jake? Fancy styrofoam payload. Yeah. yeah all right but styrofoam is good because it's going to keep all of our equipment insulated battery battery yep gps gps so we can find it and then a 360 camera and a gopro excellent so he's carving out spots for each of those making sure that they are secure and well insulated and this beauty over here is our drone so we're going to hope to capture some aerial footage of the launch as it's happening and maybe even this might help us scout out the final location of the balloon once it lands and let's see i'm gonna see if i can show you we've been running calculations today let me see if i can find that flight plan for you so you can see we're launching in marshall and hopefully gonna land somewhere near jamestown now the thing that's got us a little bit worried is you notice that green dot is the final destination. The orange dot is the burst location, but that's awfully close to the Missouri River. So we're hoping that we luck out and we don't end up inside the, the Missouri River. There's but the good news is this is only for tomorrow's launch for, for our test practice. The actual launch, right now the calculations are projecting it to be well north of the river and we should be okay. So, I also wanted to take you out here. This is Nathan. Nathan's hard at work getting his camera set up. You wanna tell us a little bit about what you're doing, Nathan? Sure, so one of the things I'm gonna be doing is shooting close-up shots of the sun throughout the eclipse and to do that, I have a solar filter that will protect my camera and ensure that I'm only getting a small fraction of the total sunlight. And as you can see, I'm doing a test right now with uh, a view of the sun through that solar filter. Um, as the eclipse happens, we'll start to see the sun uh, being occluded by the moon as it moves across the face of it. Once we get through to totality, I will take the filter off just after the sun has been completely covered by the moon and take a series of shots to capture the corona and hopefully long enough exposure to be able to capture the dark side, the, the, the side of the moon lit by earth light, uh, reflected light from, from the earth back on the moon's surface. And then once the total eclipse is over, once the totality is over, phase over, I'll put the filter back on and go through capturing sequences throughout the rest. And that'll be one of the two things we'll do. We'll also be shooting some wide angle shot uh, time lapse of the event as well. Awesome. All right, so that is our update for today. Tomorrow we are hoping to launch our test of the balloon and hopefully everything will go smoothly. So if you stick, uh, stick around and stay tuned, our anticipated launch time is between 10.45 a.m. and 11.15 a.m. tomorrow morning. So tune in tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.